Hey everybody, this is Evan with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today's quick tip video is going to be how you can customize your opportunity pipeline. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and start inside of our command account by going to agent.kw.com and logging in with our KW username and password. Then we're gonna go ahead and travel right over here to the left-hand side and we're gonna go ahead and click on the, um, the icon of two hands shaking and it should say opportunities. All right, the Opportunities Dashboard shows you a high level view of your business, including the number of opportunities per phase um, and the volume for each probable commission based on where each opportunity is at in the process and insight into your overall opportunities activity. So the opportunity system is broken into three individual pipelines. You have the listings, your buyers, and your leases. Um, now each individual pipeline breaks down into the transact breaks down. I'm sorry. Each individual pipeline breaks down the transaction process into five different phases. So you have uh, cultivate, appointment, active, under contract, and closed. The phases for your pipeline are standard and are not editable. Within each phase, the stages are editable, and you have the ability to create as many as you would as you require. So each phase is broken up into uh, stages, which you can fully customize to fit your transaction process. By default, we have added a few stages in your pipeline to get you started. From the opportunities dashboard, click on each phase to see the stages that have been set up. So if you click on cultivate, you'll see that it does break down into further stages such as watch, nurture, hot, just listed. So to edit your stages, the first step to getting your opportunities pipeline set up is to look at your business and define each stage of the transaction. One thing to keep in mind, a stage is not a task. Each stage is a period of time in the transaction process that might have multiple tasks and or outcomes that will need to happen before you can move to the next stage. So once you have your team pipeline planned out, you are ready to edit your stages. So you're going to click on each phase to see what has been added by default. Next, you're going to click on the stages and checklist. And then you are going to see that you have these, uh, the four sub categories per se, the four sub stages. So once you click into a phase, you will see the list view of your stages and the probability for each. Use the add stage button at the top right of the page to add a new stage, which will you will then need to edit. So you're going to give it a name. So let's just go with listing appointment. Probability, let's say the probability is going to be 25%. Now you are able to also add a checklist item. Um, we will put the link to the, I'm sorry, we'll put the link to the article for the how to add checklist items um, and create checklist items in the comments below for you. But this is where you'll be able to add a checklist for this um, sub stage. So now you'll see that you do have the um, listing appointment that we just created. If you want to reorder these, you can do so by simply by clicking and dragging it where you would like it to go. So now you'll see that it has changed to the second in line. Again, you can name these whichever you whatever you would like. You can order them however you would like. That is completely up to you. Now, if you would like to edit a stage, um, you do have the option to edit it by clicking the pencil over here. It doesn't have to be the one you just created. So you can edit the stage name. So if you do like just listed, um, you can just do listed. Um, you can do how, what, whatever you would like to word it. And then if you decide that you do not like um, one of the stages here, you're able to go ahead and just click the trash can and it will delete that stage. So the probability for each stage, uh, that represents the probability that an opportunity will go all the way through to close from the stage. For example, if you are in the scheduled stage of an appointment phase, 
um, and you know that only one in 10 of the appointments that you schedule will actually go through to close and get you commission, then add 10% to that stage. Uh, within opportunities, you will see a commission total for each individual pipeline and stage. Um, with the volume, I'm sorry, with the volume of the listing you attach to each individual opportunity, look at what stage and opportunity is in and the probability associated with that stage. Then calculate the volume against that probability percentage set up in that stage. We're basically showing you an estimate of your future income based on the probabilities that you set up in each stage. Uh, now that you have set up your phases and stages, it's time to start creating opportunities. Each opportunity will be attached to a contact in your database, and you can track these opportunities through your contacts as well as inside of the opportunities. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, support at scottlawarymarketing.com. Have a wonderful day.